Oh my god, it's official. We are totally outnumbered. And no, I'm not talking about immigrants. I'm actually talking about the non-human cells in our body. Did you know that in the average human being, there are 33 trillion cells that are not human versus the tr 30 trillion that are human? It's absolutely true. There's a 1 to 1.3 ratio of human to non-human cells. And the non-human cells I'm talking about is your microbiome, which includes bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa, and all the genetic, genetic material on your body, which is in the skin, all in your mouth. There's millions of microbes. In the esophagus, there's a millions of microbes, millions of microbes all over, like in the stomach and in the anal canal and on all over your skin. So we really have to respect the diversity of a microbiome because when one population overpopulates, that causes things like bacterial vaginosis, which is a very smelly odor down there. You don't want that. You don't want C. diff, which is explosive diarrhea because of the overpopulation of C. diff. We were meant to live together. We were meant to coexist. We have to respect the microbiome in our bodies. We have to respect our neighbors, respect the different cultures, respect different religions and or else we will be in total chaos. So I just wanted to show you that parallel that I learned and to respect the diversity of microbiome. I made a whole other video about eating different fruits and vegetables and you can go ahead and see that video. But what's coming next, I'll be talking about the gut feeling. So please share to educate people on promoting gut health and a better health in general.